let's take a look at the bell ringer from period two that you have just completed. So if you remember this particular short answer question had three parts, A, B, and to C. So it asks to answer A, B, and C. A is to briefly explain one important similarity between the goals of the Spanish and the English in establishing colonies in the Americas prior to 1700. B is to briefly explain one important difference between the goals of the Spanish and the English in establishing colonies in the Americas prior to 1700. And C asked briefly to explain one way in which the difference you indicated in B contributed to a difference in the development of Spanish and English colon colonial societies. So what I wanna do is go ahead and let's take a look at A and show you how we work the steps for ACE. So A is asking to briefly explain one important similarity between the goals of the Spanish and the English in establishing colonies in the Americas prior to 1700. So the first thing that you want to do is make sure that you are understanding what the prompt is asking. So first we see one. So they want one important similarity. All right. So something that is the same between the goals of the Spanish and the English in establishing colonies in the Americas prior to 1700. So you want to jot down two or three things that come to mind. Okay. Before you start responding to your prompt. So one thing that comes to mind is that both of them wanted to acquire wealth. They were also both looking to find access to Asia. And to a degree, both of them sought to promote religion. All right. Okay. So we're going to pick what the strongest response would be, which in this case is to acquire wealth. So once we've gone and picked what our one specific example is going to be our C and ACE, then we can go ahead and start putting our response together. So remember that ACE begins with us answering the prompt by restating the prompt. So that is your sentence starter. And it will also help to keep you on target for what your response should be. So you wanna make sure that you repeat the prompt and make sure that you include dates because those are gonna be very important. Often I will see students give a great response but because they left the dates off on their A, they ended up responding to something outside of those dates and you don't get any credit for that. So you want to make sure that you really pay attention to the prompt and you're responding to it. So make sure that you repeat the prompt. So we begin with one important similarity between the goals of the English and the Spanish in establishing colonies in the Americas prior to 1700 was, so that's our A, I've taken the prompt, and I've restated it word for word. Okay, it doesn't take a lot of time to do that. Then I'm going to put in my C, to acquire wealth. All right, so there's my first sentence. I have my A, I have my C, and now what I need to do is explain how C answers the prompt. So both the Spanish and English sought to extract gold and silver from the Americas and would develop agriculture within their colonies for the purpose of generating wealth for their mother country. All right. Two sentences, that's all I needed to provide a short answer response, okay? You wanna make sure that you keep it to round three or four, you can do less, but you wanna make sure that you are responding to the prompt, that you're providing a specific example and you are explaining how that example answers the prompt, okay? So this would be a strong response for A. Now let's go ahead and take a look at B. So B asks to briefly explain one important difference between the goals of the Spanish and the English in establishing colonies in the Americas prior to 1700. So the key here is difference, all right? So in A, it asks us for a similarity. Now it's asking us for a difference, okay? And when you see this style of SAQ, um, this is usually the kind of format that it follows, okay? So similarity and difference, so again, I'm going to just jot down two or three things um, that could be used as a good, strong, specific example for my response. So I have religious reasons for colonization as being a difference. And I also have the focus of their economic goals as being a difference. And I'm gonna choose religious reasons for colonization because that's, I think, a really strong difference between how the Spanish and how the English approached their establishing of colonies in the Americas. 
All right, and then I'm going to do my A, so I'm going to repeat and restate the prompt. All right, one important difference between the goals of the Spanish and the English in establishing colonies in the Americas prior to 1700. And then I'm going to put in my C, all right? Were there religious different? Were there religious reasons for colonization? Okay, so there's my A and my C, and now I just need to explain. The Spanish were more intent on converting Native Americans to Catholicism, while the English, such as the Puritans, were more likely to be fleeing political and religious conflicts in England. All right, again, just two sentences. They're short, but they are specific and it addresses the prompt, all right, providing a good, strong explanation. And that's what you need to do in order to have a good short answer question response. So you can go ahead and practice your response on C on your own and see if you can improve upon what you had previously written. Uh, remember to always follow the ACE method. It will help keep you on target for doing well on the short answer questions.